So hi everyone, where am I going today? Uh, I've got my towel with me and um, we're going to the beach uh, but watch this video because this is not just any beach video, okay? We're going to a protest. Follow me this direction. everyone uh, where are we today so we're going to the beach right why are we going to the beach there's a protest going on in the beach and what it's called is called the towel protest all the way up the coast of Turkey eh? what we'll have we'll have these protests going on what's happening is all the the beaches here they're stunning but what the councils have done is they've rented them out to private companies when you go to these beaches, they're charging you for what you think is entry, but it's to use their sunbeds, to use the facilities and all that. But all the local people, they cannot use these beaches because one, they feel a little bit intimidated to go down there because they're free. They should be free to every member of the public. All right, they are free. All right, they are free. Just if you use the facilities of these private companies, you're going to get charged, all right? But as I, as I said before, as people feel a little bit intimidated, they're feeling uh, pushed out of using these beaches. So these companies are charging something like 250 Turkish Lira per person uh, for sunbeds and their umbrellas. So this has got a, a real knock-on effect for all the locals here. And I don't just mean local Turks, by the way, I mean locals like me. People who who invest in the community, uh, people who just want to go with the families at the weekend to the beach with a picnic, with a chair and food, and just have a, a, a picnic on the beach. This doesn't happen much these days. Doesn't happen much these days. Why? Because the councils have the authority to rent out the beaches to private companies. So today we have the tower protest in Fetti, and it's a Bonjuk Blue Beach, which is on the peninsula, they've chosen this one, one of many beaches they could have, cho could have chosen. Uh, I don't know why they chose that one actually, but anyway, uh, that's where I'm heading now. I, I don't feel like I can take my family to the beach without spending a couple of thousand Turkish lira and enjoying myself where we used to just picnic and we used to just go down there with our tables, our chairs and get our packed lunch and it was a family affair. Uh, these days are gone, bygone days guys. It's so difficult now in Turkey to actually do that. All the way up the coast. From Alanya all the way to Fethiye, from Fethiye all the way up to Bodrum and Marmaris and all these places. It's the same, right? I'm very enthusiastic about this. So, let's join the protest and see what's going on, eh? So let's go and join them, shall we? The Tower Protest, Turkey, 16th of September, 2023 and this is just one of many 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 it's been going on up and down the, the country and I'm sure there'll be a lot more so if this happens in your location please join it show your support it's growing and growing and growing what a worthy cause guys what a worthy cause just stopped off on the way to the beach uh, and I just want to show you the local area yeah this is all the way up and down Turkey it's absolutely stunning and where we're going to go is uh, this area here is a peninsula and if you go follow all the way around it's absolutely stunning and we have so many beaches there's about eight beaches that just go around the whole peninsula <clears throat> and to the left here just up here we've got two beaches you're probably aware of them help beach and see me beach now they're very very popular uh, for the tourists and they're absolutely stunning bays and both of them have got facilities on them as well. Now it's all geared for tourism. Now we need tourism and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's not the done thing to go down with your own table and chairs and plonk them on the beach in front of somebody who's just paid 500 Turkish Lira.
So here we are guys looking down at the beaches uh, and what we see is a Bonjuk and Help Beach, See Me Beach. There's loads of beaches all around here but you can just see how beautiful it is. It's all geared towards tourism and look obviously just don't come here anymore. And look what we're missing out on. Just look what we're missing out on. Absolutely stunning. Why? Because the prices are just too high and everybody's priced out to come in here. Eh? So there's one beach here, there's another one at the other side, go around the peninsula, uh, you get around to the other side, there's beaches all around here. Eh? Okay, let's go and have a look. So guys, listen, I just uh, a strange thing just happened, right? I get to the beach. Is this the beach where the protest is? And he says, uh, he didn't understand, but he says, oh, you want the, the, the public beach, that's next door, go to the public beach. I says, no, I said they're all public. And I just walked in, you know? So there you go, isn't that strange? Yeah, so, Let's go in and see what's going on, okay? Guys, I'm on the beach now and the protest has started. Okay, so this is the sunbeds area. Oh, too much noise here, eh? Too much noise here. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's just turn the music off. And all these people here at protest, they've got their towels with them, yeah? I've got mine with me as well, yeah? And uh, the injustice of us not being able to use these beaches. And all around us, these beautiful beaches. Have a look at this. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, but it's used for tourism, look. Right, they're charging all these people crazy prices to sit on the beach. Right, and look at this water. Crystal clear and stunning. And I've just come in here and I've just been told you're not allowed on here, you need to use the public beach. This is all public. All the way here. 50 metres from every beach in Turkey is public. You can walk on, you don't have to pay any money. But these people charge you to come here because they're rented out by the councils. By the way, at this point I've got to say it's not illegal by the councils to rent these out. It's, it's just a law they have in Turkey. Kıyılara ve denizlere ücretsiz erişim hakkı için bir araya geldik. Bu alanlar belirli bir zümre veya kişinin mülkiyeti olamaz. Yasalar ve anayasa bu konuda açık, bu konuda oldukça açıktır. Kıyılar Türkiye Cumhuriyeti Anayasası'nın 43. maddesi ve Türk Medeni Kanunu'nun 715. maddesine göre devletin hüküm ve tasarrufu altındaki alanlardır. Ancak günümüzde tüm plajlar, sahiller ve koylar özelleştirilmiş, yurttaşların özgürce ve sınırsızca kullanımına kapatılmıştır. Bu alanlar yalnızca parası olanların şezlong ve şemsiye kullanımı adı altında yüksek meblalar ödeyerek faydalandığı yerler haline getirilmiştir. Kıyılarımız kapalı kapılar ardında imbar plan düzenlemeleriyle sermayeye teşkil çekilmiş özel mülkiyete tahsis edilerek gerçek sahibi olan halkın elinden alınmıştır. Kıyıları işgal edenler kadar bu işgale göz yumanlar da suçludur ve suç işlemeye devam etmektedir. Yurttaşların kıyıları ücretsiz kullanımı sağlanmalı ve bu konudaki tüm engellemeler kaldırılmalıdır. Halka ait olan alanların işgaline derhal son verilmelidir. Kıyılar halkın Guys, you hear the passion in that woman's voice, you know. And what I've done is they're, they're trying to drown them up with the music, eh? There you go, you know. I don't know what's right, what's wrong here, right? But anyway, look. These people here in the hundreds, right, protesting against why can't they not come in here and use their beaches, right? Also, another thing, right, the car parks, right? If you bring a car here, you've got to park it way top of the mountain because they don't allow you in. So there's another ramification to not be able to use these beaches. Anyway, I have my towel people and I'm walking down the beach here as well and I do apologize to the people here who got the sunbeds right here and had to pay to sit here because you don't have to pay to sit here. The tourists, you know, I'm sure they're understanding, they're just on holiday, it's not their fault. As I say, it's a difficult one, it's who's right, who's wrong. 
So I'm just going to follow this protest along this beautiful beach. And can I just say, I've only ever once been on this beach. And it's to give it an uh, advertisement. How ironic is that? But listen, I'm trying to encourage people to come to the beaches. Not necessarily using all these facilities that people are being charged an arm and a leg for. So trust me, that's what you've been charged. There you go, eh? Happy tourists. They, they, they're loving it, they're enjoying it, eh? So listen, this is a serious subject, yeah? Uh, you can see the TVs are here, the local newspapers are here, uh, the harbour news is here, it's right on the beach. And I'm not sure how legal that is. These people are walking through here because 50 metres from every beach you can use, up to 50 metres. That's a law, I believe. So why is this building here and stopping people from walking through and using the beach? This is what they're saying. Right? There you go. So you cannot just walk along this beach. They have a, a massive turnout. And what I can say guys, is uh, this has been happening, this uh, towel protest is happening up and down the country. Look, e even, th look, there's local people. And just look here, we have a line here. And what they're saying is, this is, I just drove the car in, what the guy said to me, that's the public beach, this little bit here, on the other side. Right? And the people who are pushed into the corner there, this is, this is my homeland, I've got a like, well, can, listen, I yeah. can enter here free, this yes. is my homeland. Doru. No, I can't yeah, yeah, enter here free. I know, I know, bend it, bend it. Can you understand that? Bend burda yir ni ujil, aine, evet. There is an Irish woman, her home, and she just cannot come on the beach anymore. So what they've done is they've just put all the people who want to come and bring their tables and chairs, this little part in the corner. And I was even pushed over here when I came in with my car as well. You've got to park all your cars up the road now, you're not allowed to bring your car in now, because this place is private, so-called private. They don't let you come on here. They do let you come on here, but honest, you, be, you feel very embarrassed to do that. These people are clapping them. And rightly so. Sorry, I'm very passionate about this as well. Isn't it terrible that they draw a line? Isn't that terrible? Isn't that terrible? Hello there. So look what we're looking at here, guys. Look, this guy's sitting there with his Cheers. He's just parked his car up and he's parked his, his umbrella, his bag, he's brought a picnic. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. Everywhere. So uh, I promote all these places, but I, I, I'm promoting these places for you to come down and check out the beaches. The beaches are stunning. Nothing to do with the facilities. If you want to use the facilities, it's your prerogative. Oh, took his mind there, bringing his towel here. What are the kids from the Arab people? Are from the Arab people? Yes, that's how it should be, guys. What about the Turkish people? Eh? What about the Turkish people? What about the families? That's what they're all here for. They're here, they promote the families in Turkey, yeah? These beaches belong to the people. Oh. Hi brother, how you doing? How you doing? One of my friends here. Uh... Anarchink, Anarchink. <laughs> hey, look, there's mine, look, there's mine. Oh, I'm, I'm, here. I'm here, yeah. Super. Come on, let's follow this. <laughs> yeah. That's good.
people are at boiling point with this. Uh, we're limited to where we go. They're pushing people into the rivers and the forests to sit and have their picnics. And listen, some of the fishes go there also are taken over by restaurants and you're not allowed to sit there either. So they're not letting you picnic even in some of the forest areas, yeah? So it's, uh, it's all very sad. And it's uh, just going on and on and on. When does it stop? This is what the people are asking. When does it stop? So we're here to protest. Absolutely stunning location, people. Stunning location. You have a choice. You come to this part here, it's been segregated. They're going back to the 1960s, eh? In America. Or do you go to the part over there where the tourists are? Your choice. So we're in the car park area guys, you can see there's cars everywhere, right? But there's a security on the front door there, right? If you are not going in and using the beach and facilities, right, they won't allow your car in here. Simple as that. He says you cannot use the private beach, you have to use the public beach. That's his words. Uh, he told me to take the car out, I says no, I'm here for the protest. He went, okay, take your car in. But as you can see, look, this place is huge, right? And the Turkish people cannot use it. They can give it to the people who are renting out this location. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide who's right and wrong. I think it's an injustice and I, I think something should be done and I don't know what, but I think something should be done. It's a travesty really and there's too many things happening in this location like this. It doesn't sit well with me. I'm seeing the place change and it's changing for greed. It's, this is all about money. This is nothing to do with family traditions, which is what Turkey is all about to me, you know? And all the years I've been here, I love the tradition. And the tradition of the, the few that just park their cars up on the hill rather than coming in here and went to little bitty beach over there. They're sitting there with their tables and chairs and picnics. They've came a long way just to use that little space there. Tell me the injustice in that, yeah? It's like mother and daughter. And I'll tell you what, yeah, I hope these people encourage the, the, the youth of today to understand that this is not right. People have a right to use these beaches. They've all gone now. They've all gone, right? It's okay. They've all gone. So I thought I'd just come back and see what it's like. Uh, they've, they've, they've said their point and they've, they've probably just brought this all to light because the people lying around the beaches, they, they have no idea. Maybe they don't care. Uh, everybody's uh, to their own thing, I suppose, you know. Now, days, years gone by, if you've been visiting Turkey for years, this, this was the norm. You used to go around beaches and you used to just see families right up to the beach like this. 
they, they bring their own tables, they bring their cars, they bring their seats, they bring their tables, they bring all the food from their house, and they bring all the kids. And look, look at this. They just have their vans open, they have the water with them, and it's lovely. This is great. Isn't this wonderful, guys? Look at this. How nice is this? But, that's it. This is all we have. Unless you want to put your hand in your pocket and go and buy sun beds and pay for facilities and all the restaurant facilities there as well, yeah? So I'm going back on just to show you. So this is the space we have here. And it's still beautiful. You can see it's cramped. And these people shouldn't be cramped up like this, like sardines. That's it. That's it. And then we take a look to the left of the line. And at this point, if you come on here, you can use the front of the beach there legally. The rest of it is out of bounds. It's taken up with all these sunbeds. And that's a beautiful area and a huge area. Look, it goes all the way around. How nice is that? And for the Turkish people, We got this. So people, I'm going to call it a date that, yeah? A very quick video, just to show you what goes on an average day in Turkey. <laughs> okay, so listen, uh, from uh, from here, down at Sea Me Beach, Bonjuk Blue Beach, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it's probably got more, uh, more questions than that, giving answers, okay? There's a lot going on in Turkey at the moment and uh, you can see tempers are flaring. But anyway, look guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hang fire. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please like, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, okay? So you don't miss my next video, which is a real, real soon. So thank you for watching, people. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed what's uh, been a very different video from me, okay? So thank you from not just me, but the people of Turkey. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Teşekkür ederim.